Hello, my soccer universe. Um, you might see it, feel it, whatever. I'm quite sick. My voice is gone. Well, all my lungs yesterday was the whole day with fever. Today I'm not having no fever, but everything's still hurting. And I've been now uh, thinking about making this video for over two hours and I said, okay, let's do it. Uh, better to get talking because there have been quite a few things that I want to talk about. I'm wearing, of course, uh, my new Liverpool shirt. I have not really introduced it properly, although you saw it already in last uh, week's video on how to fix stains. I, as I said, I know that this week I'm going to get a really nice shirt, uh, courtesy of my wife. I'm going to show you everything I got in January and in February in one big swoop. And yes, I need to do this a little bit better. Anyway, uh, let's start in the Premier League since I'm wearing Liverpool. Um, it was kind of a, how to say, make or break game for Liverpool at home to Bournemouth. And I didn't watch the game, well, I didn't watch much of the game. Uh, first five minutes and then I think uh, about 15 minutes of the second half because I was all in for the Derby Madrileño. Uh, which turned out to be a much better game than I expected. So uh, it was between Liverpool, Bournemouth and this one. And um, honestly, um, unless it would have been a dreary affair, I it was, I, I was always going to stick with the Derby Madrid and Yeah. Uh, Liverpool, actually, in the first five five minutes, I thought, oh, this is going the wrong way because Bournemouth right off the bat had a good chance. But then, you know, Liverpool uh, did what Liverpool usually does, dominates the game and scores goals. Mane in the 24th, um, after an assist from Milner, there was a little bit of side confusion, but, you know, we don't have VAR, which, uh, no, I won't say that, that, that everyone will talk about it. Um, I actually was not happy with VAR yesterday all over, but we need VAR. Uh, it's better to have to have it. Uh, but Mane uh, makes a nice score, then uh, Georgina Wijnaldum with a wonderful goal. Uh, make it 2-0 and uh, another really nice combination right after halftime. Uh, incidentally, a minute before I switched over. Thank you, uh, thank you, Madrid, for uh, making the first half a minute longer than you needed to. Uh, Backhill pass from Firmino and Salah uh, slots it nicely in, in a way. A typical Salah goal. 3-0 uh, and they should have made more goals. I think you could have yesterday boosted their goal differential. I mean 3-0 is not that bad I think but 4 or 5 were easily possible yesterday. So yeah, uh, Liverpool wins 3-0. Uh, also 3-0 Manchester United against Fulham and that's the next matchup with uh, uh, Manchester United at Liverpool. No, Liverpool at Manchester United. I'm so... Why do I always mess up? Uh, sometimes think uh, I do it the American way because I'm still used to that. Sometimes I, I just think I'm probably. Fulham had a few chances from Valdo Valdegosi. Then Pogba makes a wonderful 1 0. Martial, a few minutes later, makes it 2 0. Could have been 3 0 easily. And Pogba then converts a penalty. Um, I'm slightly amazed of how well Pogba is playing now. And I have to say, uh, with a Pogba in that form, Yes, the back line looks a little bit shaky, but going forward, Manchester United is really, really, really scary. So we got to see how that is going to evolve from here out. Other games in the Premier League, I really haven't seen any um, highlights, but Huddersfield Arsenal 1-2. A uh, little bit disappointing, to be honest. It was 2-0 at halftime, like I said, in the Wobi, and then it was an own goal. I would have hoped for a little bit more emphatic result, especially against the last place team. Um, we have Southampton, Cardiff 1-2, Watford 1-0 Everton, uh, Crystal Palace, West Ham 1-1 and Brighton against Burnley 1-3, which sets up the table. Now we have Liverpool, of course, back in first place, no level points, but to, uh, today Chelsea is playing at City, so that's going to be a game to watch, although I'm not expecting much of, of Chelsea, honestly. Uh, how not many things have moved around, I see. We have still have, I mean, Newcastle now, but they have a game in hand. Who are they playing today? Let me just check this. I've been looking at the wrong page here. Uh, Newcastle playing at Wolves. Nah, doesn't, doesn't look too well. And Tottenham is uh, playing Leicester, which is kind of a mixed bag. You never know what, what you get from Leicester. 
But yeah, uh, not really many positional changes, except uh, now Manchester United at least temporarily is in fourth spot. And let's see what uh, Chelsea will do. So um, I would actually say that Manchester United will probably get one of the four uh, spots for the champ Champions League and it will again be the two big London teams missing out. But games still need to be played. So I've talked about Arby Madrilenio, which was the marquee matchup yesterday. Um, and it was a really, really good game, especially in the first half. I have to, uh, uh, Atletico coming out storming and with the first chance, a really uh, weird um, thing happening. A corner kick and four Atletico uh, Madrid players converging onto Ramos to prevent him from heading. He anyway got the ball, and what's worse is that Partey uh, left Casemiro very much alone there, and he makes a bicycle kick and slots it home. Nice goal, but with that much space, <laughs> who can blame him? Uh, fortunately, a few minutes later, Griezmann, after a really nice pass, slots it home, running along to um, Coutoua and making it 1-1. Uh, there was a they reviewed it for offside, but it was just not offside. So. That went nice, and then I thought, yeah, the game is quite open. Um, chances, maybe a little bit more leaning to Atletico's uh, way. Uh, but the game seemed to be, yeah, in balance, but in a shaky balance, a very even, evenly matched. And then, again, a very stupid, absolute stupid uh, defending mistake, Jimenez on, um, what's his name? Vinicius Jr. He runs on the side and Jimenez uh, comes from around the back, uh, touches him. It's not much, but very naively uh, done. And it is a penalty. I would, they looked at it uh, at VAR. I for the spot. It was very close. I potentially would have given it outside. Uh, not only because I was leaning from Atletico, because I really wanted to wear not the Liverpool shirt, but this shirt today. But yeah, uh, the referee didn't see much, uh, too much to overturn it. It was a really close call. I personally think the foul started outside, and for that reason, I would have given it as a free kick from the outside. But then it was a penalty. Ramos uh, slots it home and mocks Griezmann in celebration. What shall I say? Uh, Ramos being the great human being that he usually is on that part. Second half, Real Madrid really in control. Uh, and you could see that this team also is slightly turning, is slowly turning around. And this makes me a little bit worried for the Champions League, to be honest. Uh, the last thing I needed was uh, a great playing Real Madrid team. And now they have, they have only Ajax. I mean, it's a clash that has a lot of history, but I don't see much happening in terms of, um, uh, you know, it's pretty clear who's who's the favorite here, and I don't see uh, Ajax having much of a chance. Their Champions League is coming this week. If I feel better, I might actually watch a few things. But let's see. I actually I see myself the whole whole week in bed. Honestly, at least the fever is gone for now, but it might come back. So yeah, Real Madrid was in control, and you know. Um, Atletico only could play physically but couldn't get a grip on the game except for once when there was a white ball onto Marat Marata who lobbed it nicely into the net and he was just by a hair of sight. Uh, killed me that one. I was so uh, this would have been really put uh, the game back on a different level, but no. Didn't happen and then Bale even makes his uh, makes the third goal. He came on for Junior and his celebration was also seemingly uh, a big F you uh, to everyone. And then Party gets it off. He had a horrible game. I think uh, in many ways he was over motivated or whatever, but he had a horrible game. He had had great games this uh, season for Atletico, but now this one he completely botched and Atletico has the first loss at home. Other um, results in La Liga, Valladolid 0-0 uh, to Villarreal. Getafe wins 3-1 against Celta, and Espanyol gets a last-second uh, winner against uh, Rayo Vallecano, which was kind of 
important for Espen to not really get down in the relegation zone. And I gotta say, uh, I saw just a few minutes and they had a goal taken away uh, by VAR and seemingly they got one. I, I, I haven't seen any highlights. Girona Huesca uh, 0 2. And yeah, Real Madrid is now the one challenger to Barcelona. At the moment, they are five points behind, but if Barcelona wins against Athletic Bilbao, it's again uh, eight points difference. It's, yeah, what shall I say? I think the championship is more or less a foregone conclusion, and Barcelona can even take it easy a little bit. It will be different, even if Real Madrid wins the Classic, I mean, let's say Barcelona wins out, I mean, they can't, cannot get three points close. I think Barcelona just needs to get their usual wins and so on, and uh, they will win this easily. Uh, Espanyol uh, momentarily uh, moves up, as, is, as does Leganes. Uh, in 11th and 12th spot, um, but you know, there's still Levante and Bilbao have to play today, although Bilbao will probably lose. Uh, and Rayo, yeah, didn't help them much, but uh, Huesca's win, 18 points, Villarreal 20, Rayo 23, Girona 24, Celta 24, it's tight. Let's quickly go Serie A, there are only two... Uh, Games yesterday, a nil-nil between Fiorentina and nah, Napoli, which I didn't, didn't expect, and I slept through most of that game. Uh, not because I didn't want to watch it, because because I was so uh, dumb. I saw a few chances here and there. I had von a little. I saw that it was kind of one of those where some one team and then the other team has a little bit more of the game. I actually expected this to be a really nice one to watch, but from everything I hear and read, it was not a nice one to watch. Um, just happens sometimes. And Parma loses at home to Inter. Parma had a little bit more to first half, not much, and then Inter actually responds well. Had a goal taken out by VAR, again, handball, but then uh, they got the win through Lautaro Martinez in the 74th, uh, no, 79th, which basically, let's see how the crisis for Inter uh, ends, but this was a, you know, Inter needed that one badly. But yeah, uh, I don't like how Serie A is trending at the moment, at least for, uh, because all the teams, for you know, from a Milan perspective. But we'll talk about that tomorrow when we know more about Milan. But tonight, let's see. The biggest results, honestly, were in Germany. There was the most movement. Um, the biggest game was the Derby Matrilenio, but the biggest results came in Germany. Um, we were Leipzig, Frankfurt 0-0, uh, Hannover 2-0 against Nuremberg, and a great 3-3 draw between Freiburg and Wolfsburg. Wolfsburg took three times the lead, and Freiburg three times equalized. Uh, was important for them. But uh, three big games. Gladbach loses to Hertha 0-3. Absolutely uh, at home. Absolutely un un unexpected that one. Um, and was not sweetened by the fact that Hertha were there almost unwatchable away jerseys. Speaking of weird church jerseys, Mainz wore their carnival shirts. If you get to see them, they are white with blue, yellow um, and red squares all over. This is some, some something in Germany that the carnival town uh, Mainz, Köln are doing in uh, the, uh, Munich. They have the Oktoberfest uh, jerseys. Not sure what to make of that, but this one looked actually horrible to me. But yeah. Dortmund, Hoffenheim. Dortmund dominated Hoffenheim. Absolutely. Sometimes uh, it's fluid, wonderful attacking football. Uh, had a goal by Sancho, ruled out early on. Then they made two. I think it was uh, Sancho, the first one, and Götze on the, on the rebound again after Sancho. And then a really, really great goal, nicely played. Uh, where Rafael Guerrero, they could have made a fourth, they could have made a fifth, and then Skoff, uh, then Hoffenheim, Bell Fodil gets a goal. Dortmund still, you, 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 you don't think much, Dortmund still could, could have made a fourth one at that point, but then Ka uh, Kadrabek gets a 3 2 in the 83rd, and Bell Fodil makes it 3 3. Absolutely incredible. This was a game that Dortmund should have had well in the back uh, midway through the second half. And within uh, 12 minutes, Hoffenheim turns this one and makes it a 3-3. Lost points for Dortmund overall, obviously, especially since Bayern 
beat Schalke 3-1. Although Schalke hit the post twice, although once it would have been given offside. Um, the first goal by Schalke was a Bruma on goal, uh, by Bayern was a Bruma on goal. Kutucu uh, shot uh, gets from a, a really nice pass, runs on the goal, first shot on goal, makes it 1-1, but right after horribly fending Schalke's goals were down to really bad positioning. And Lewandowski makes it um, two one, and Knabri then puts the game uh, the game game away. I think it was a bicycle kick that Knabri then had headed in. Uh, was a, a, actually nice to watch, but at that point Schalke probably should have had an equalizer. But yeah, Bayern is now within five points of Dortmund. Bayern back. I'm not sure, but you know Dortmund is a little bit. It's not a rough patch in the season. Let's see where, where this goes. And Bayern is now three points also ahead of Gladbach. So very interesting development. I think uh, the, you know, never count out Bayern. They can get scary and they have the game at home against Dortmund in, uh, in their back pocket. That, that could well be the title decider. Uh, because let's say even if it stays five points, if Bayern wins that and then within two, two, two points and... I trust Bayern to make these up, but I really hope the Dortmund wins. Uh, if you look at the Premier League and the Bundesliga, the two, uh, I really want Dortmund Liverpool to win this one. Uh, last one, let's look also at League. Uh, uh, Paris Saint Germain gets a, a scrappy 1 0 win against Bordeaux, where they uh, basically rested most of their big stars. One star made the goal, that was Cavani, and he injured himself while taking the penalty. The injury problems don't get smaller, uh, then Mbappé comes on for the second half, but they cannot make much from their da form, the down dominance, and Bordeaux could have maybe even gotten something equalizer. Other than that, Dijon Marseille, we already talked about that one, with Amiens against Caen, 1-0, and uh, Strasbourg against Angers, 1-2, uh, that's also a little bit surprising to me if I look at it uh, at the moment. Uh, PSG is still high up. We have quite a few games still still played, but at the moment Marseille, this win, they're moving up, 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 up. At the moment they're in fifth spot, but you know. Uh, they have two games more than Saint-Étienne, which they're level with, and uh, then Montpellier. Strasbourg has, has a game in hand, the same is true for us and Nice, so... And even Rennes, but Rennes would not... Uh, overtake them. At the end Amiens now has a little bit of a cushion cow slides into the uh, relegation zone. So we'll see how that goes. Well I'm gonna lie down now try to get some rest in. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, let me know what which games you watched, what you were thinking, how Le League's developing today. We have a big clash in England between City and Chelsea and uh, a few other games, uh, Barcelona, Bilbao, I will watch Milan Cagliari, that's the one I put my eyes on, because I'm a Milan fan, and you watch Milan even if, even if it's a lot like uh, inflicting personal pain. Anyway, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more like this, and I'll talk to you soon. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that might be of interest to you too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will give you all the updates on my channel, all things My Soccer Universe. And with that, I want to wish you a wonderful day.